All back right. at it again at Mother 3. Yep. Last time we finished Chapter 5. As this little bit will tell us. Yes, Chapter 5 end. Um, it was a real good one. I liked uh, the like dungeons we had. Yeah, uh, and, a lot of stuff happened. And I liked the uh, optional bits and fights and things we had in there. So... Yeah, um... I want to wait a couple minutes? Oh, boy. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No favorites. Oh, shit, there's a favorites list for this? Yeah, 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 there's a favorites list. Okay, Scott. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that's it. I'm glad that's just out in the open. Let's just, okay, let, let's just, let's just a little file. They know what the people want. There's a little save bed. I like that this has all of the little, um, Sound effects, not just the full soundtracks. Yeah. That's a lock. Yeah, I guess that saves it to favorites. No, 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 no. This is... Well, like, my controls are locked. Oh. So, like... Huh. Like, if I just want to use this as a little jukebox and lock it so that you can't, like, accidentally bump it or whatever... Anyway. This is a really robust sound test in all the best ways. Alright, anyway. Oh, I know what I'll do. And change to melon. Chapter 6. So, uh, we just finished up the Thunder Tower. Had our uh, big, re big uh, encounter. I was going to say rematch, but like encounter with Facade. Uh, don't know where he's at. <laughs> Thump. Love the periodic spinning around to observe the scenery. I'm only doing some of that. Like, that's not me.
Oh, that's 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 <laughs> chapter... <laughs> that was chapter six. We're done. That was very cool. I liked that. Yeah. All right, there's uh, the commander and. Uh... Yeah, okay, well. Yeah, uh, chapter six, we're done. All right, time to move on. Yep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, I I really liked how that ended with the little jump off the cliff bit reaching out. Yeah, I was just like feeling like, <laughs> oh jeez, oh jeez, Lucas. And then it just like chapter in. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well. Um Well, after having a chapter of having a whole party, we're back to this pair. Let's see how everybody's doing. Oh. That's convenient. I, I guess multiple people had some dreams. That's nice. <laughs> oh, how how you doing? Chapter five end. Chapter seven. I mean, yes, at some point, you're one of the few people I would tell that. Like. <laughs> Forgotten they existed. kills me in the space of three years too it's fucking wild this is decades worth of rotten decadence To get something out of Granddad's stash. Yeah, 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 yeah! All the lightning stopped. <laughs> yeah, no kidding.
<laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Still hate that name. Mm -hmm. I've, I've already gone on long enough about why I do, but maybe not. Maybe I haven't. Maybe one more time is fine. His name sucks. His name's bad. Um, I'm going to take two minutes to tell you why. First, like I might have already tread this ground, so bear with me. Number one, when we were introduced to, you know, these, these folks, they're introduced as, you know, neither man nor woman, not quite human, which is really great to say about a people. Just flat calling them not human, which I, I, I understand the game is trying to make some sort of like weird magical folk distinction, but there's a lot of reality that goes into the use of the name of a very oppressed people as, oh, they're not human. Uh, two, the stereotype of uh, that is thrown at the, the Roma people that is this, like, traveling, fortune-telling, magical person. And that's just what they're using here. Like, the reason they're using that name is because of that stereotype specifically. And, like, ah, okay, because they're associated with, like, like a, a, a carnival style, not exactly, but, like, you know, like, this, this, it... And then, of course, the the uh, the trappings of this this like the game not real <laughs> uh, the like you know effeminate man with makeup and dress stuff that's going on that the game just kind of seems to be doing as a joke. It just seems to be a joke. I don't like. Everything about the, the this entire group of people is just so... Mm. But the name specifically is one of the biggest things that bothers me. So, anyway. Sorry. Tangent over. I'm not going to go on it every time we run into, into them. I have to get it out of my system now or I never will. Okay, get two declines, then we're done. <laughs> Do you actually have a boat now? <laughs> I wonder if they actually have a boat. I just realized they were doing that stroke motion the whole time. Yes, they they had they they did not stop. Alright, uh, they are not... Yeah, no stats. Yeah, they've got a boat down there, so... Anyway. Boat can wait. I want to check around town. Shoe? Uh, the, the, the physical word shoe. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm reminded of a, a game uh, uh, was watching uh, Rosella play a couple days back where a character called somebody out for using the wrong your, but like they're having a conversation in you know we're just reading text bubbles <laughs> like how did you even know we had where we, that was the wrong your like how could... anyway Sebastian the sidest of side characters no problem here Okay, so we have to go back to that spot. And, yeah, the river just leads up to it. That's oh, I guess that's the one from Chapter 1. Yeah, that's the one from Chapter 1. I am gonna check... Oh my god. Can I not? I can't check for burger. Ness is a Lucas is a good boy, won't rummage the garbage like Ness. Yeah, Ness, however. <laughs> Trash Burger Day One. Trash Burger Day One, Ness is a very practical boy. He knows what it, he needs in order to save the world. And I'm going to talk to everybody. Not on New Pork. that the game doesn't have a consistent answer to that either. Like, we've used both pronouns from two different characters. I don't even know if the game has an answer to that, and that's... Again, it feels like trappings just for a joke. Suddenly you hear the narrator from Kaiji start to narrate this guy's life. <laughs> That's why everyone has the I Love New York shirt. Yeah. 
there weren't enough pixels to actually tell it was new pork. Right. Here. Let's talk to a frog. Hi, how you doing, frog? And let's head west side of town. And then after west side of town, we can check north a bit, and then after north we can actually go on the boat that we're supposed to go on. <laughs> I like it here, actually. I live in jail. frog and then maybe we buy a one shirt. <sighs> My god, these two. <laughs> these two fucking clowns still at it. These two. We're gonna get to New Pork, and these two are just gonna be oh like God. right next to each other and still asking that question. Also, no, no, no! Don't contemplate those words. They're bad. I... All right, uh, let's just pull out two thousand. Two sets of them. Let's take a break. <sighs> Thanks, Bronson. So everyone's going to the big city. Yeah, we're starting to have a lot of people leaving town. What? A great Empress. The music in this, like, using a lot of the different, like, themes, uh, like, musical themes from Earthbound is really cool. Yeah, I remember when we uh, first got to the beach, um, I had noticed that it was using some of Summer's leap motifs, and that was cool. Alright, uh, I want to buy a shirt. Hey, you. Sell me a shirt. Sell me a shirt. I'm gonna keep the rubber cape, though. Alright, uh, north of town. And then once we're done with north of town, we take the boat. Maybe the bear would want to talk to you. Have you considered that? Some pretty cool bears around, I guess. 
Yeah, like, I'm sure there are plenty of chill bears out there just wanting to have a talk. Let's go check up here. And here, of course, the sunflowers from earlier. Not, obviously not those, but the idea of sunflowers from earlier. That was such a good bit. single bears in your area. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Where's letter gone? Maybe, maybe they went to the big city. Maybe, maybe it's the normal city for them. Who knows? If they call it the big city, like, is it, is it big enough for them? I mean, everyone says that shit is big in Texas, but that's just kind of normal for me. It's a matter of perspective, I guess. All right. Let's go. They're so happy they finally get to use their rowing skills. Hell yeah, I finally get to use the boat! Wait. Oh. <laughs> Alright. You know, I was a little worried. We must accept clearance for the canopy. No. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Former bridge for Mario. Don't just sit there. Yeah. bound to happen. Lots of frogs. We finally found the wrong frog. Ah, here we go. I'm just going to keep the 400 on me. That's not much. Personally, I'm of the opinion that there is no such thing as a wrong frog. Agreed, but like they 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 they, they were the you know, there's the there's the frog we wanted to talk to to save and the wrong frog. Okay, well wrong in that yeah, wrong in that context, yeah. totally understood. Sorry, I can, I don't have an ATM on me, frog. Mm. Oh right. that's okay, we're all kinda of short on cash these days. What's up?
The wrong frog in the right place makes all the difference in the world. Something's happening. I think it was no. Is that the plot happening over there? Cal. Oh, somebody finally pulled out Excalibur. Okay. Oh, that, oh, oh. Uh, excuse me? Hold on. <laughs> 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 Hmm, hmm, chapter seven, huh? Well, hmm. Goodbye. I kind of like the view. Not a key item. That's a that's an in inventory item. Huh. Well, you know, for protecting that needle, uh, you sure weren't. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. Cleocatra. <laughs> I don't know why, it just feels like one of those puns that just should be very evident, but then it just shows up and it's like, oh, well. Ah. Oh, I lose, huh? Huh. So, do we get to play the video game yet? No. Alright, um... Damn it.
Okay, we cured its sleep. Okay, one cat down. Okay, so these enemies aren't fucking around. Yeah, I sure do like status effects. secret herb. That's actually really a drop from them. Alright, so we have to get to the castle, figure out who the heck uh, pulled out the, the pen. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Dog. Thank you for the host. Welcome, everybody. Um, we found the plot. Yeah, we're, we're in chapter seven, and somebody finally... Thanks. Somebody uh, told us what the plot... What, what's going on? What we're doing? So we're, we're doing a thing. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's fight them all. We need to, Yeah, we need to go find out who, who pulled out Excalibur. Uh, crime? Cool. All right. Whatever you do, don't hypnosis. That's all I care about. Cry. There we go. But yeah, so we are on our way back to the courtyard of the castle where we've seen, like, that sword thing in the in the distance. Apparently somebody grabbed that. And apparently it's also a needle. Also, apparently there's seven of them. Also, apparently it seals the dark dragon. Um, luckily for us, uh, I already know all about the dark dragon. And I know that the dark dragon's magic is weaker than marionettes, so... It's not really that bad of a threat. <laughs> I should play Shining Force 1 again. Literally all of I know about Shining Force is now bear my Arctic Blast from Shining Force 3. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, what are, what are my favorite... Again, it's, it's, it's not... I don't think it's a joke or not, but, like... Like, like... <laughs> the final boss of Shining Force has weaker magic than one of the mid-bosses. It's great. That kind of reminds me of, like... Domingo I I still really like that uh, Twintania in 5 has, uh like about the same magic stat as a goblin but that's just a testament to how powerful tidal wave is All right. uh, i think that's a down hmm hmm crap all right, one of these was the treasure way, and one of these is the... No okay, good, we found the treasure way. All right, magic tart. That's always useful. Those are the, the psychic refills. Bark, 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 bark. Yeah! You'll love to see it. Boo! Not that one, though. You know... Going from... That's a good amount. 
Uh, going from a full party to two party members against status inflicting enemies sure is a pain in the ass. Never played the GBA version of completion of, of, of Shining Force. I'm just, like, familiar with the uh, Genesis version. Bark. 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 I do like Cleocatra's in there. That's very nice. It is a good pun, yes. Hey! Wow. That might be the first level I've ever seen in this game that wasn't good. <laughs> That's weird. Alright, who pulled out that thing? Hey. Alright. Who's the new king of, uh... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so Dark Dragon's like a misnomer. Kingdom Hearts. We were able to learn crime. Wait, can only criminals? Is, is that what's going on here? Yeah. Oh! This track has a, a backing. It's the, like, not main theme, but it's it's got a... Crime and capital crime. You know, like, 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 oh, well, all right, what do we got? Oh, so we, we literally live on Bahamut Island. All right. Okay, yeah. Yikes. Boy, howdy, uh, 15 hours in is when you're telling me all this? Look, we'll be fine as long as there are no pyramids around here, okay? Okay. So the dragon is influenced by the person that is pulling out the needles. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's why the one disappeared. I can only remember six of them. Five, five of the six. Anyway, here's the islands. So, I'm going to take a wild stab and say that this is why they could get away with chapter six being just a short little bit. Okay, yes, you, you... You need the power of crime to pull a needle. Yes.
All right. Bad news? Um... I'm up to, like, 90% sure I know who pulled this needle. Oh, hey. <laughs> ah shit, I guess Salsa and his girlfriend are in trouble. Please come to the Chimera Lab. Okay, it's that place we couldn't get to before. Okay. Well, we know where Needle 2 is. If you listen to the, 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 the music here, it's using um, one of the early... I don't remember the name of the theme. It's one of the early themes you hear for the in, in Earthbound. Mm -hmm. It's using... The, oh. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. All right. Your needle. Okay, goodbye. Cool. <laughs> you know, you can just tell us where your needle is and then we can get there first. Now, cutscene senses are off. And this is that door that was locked. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the bros have joined forces. Oh no! Oh my god, it's the bros attack! Such a good capstone. I'm gonna bully that skeleton. I can't bully them. So yeah, it took the game long enough that there's actually like stuff going on. Like a, like a, 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 that's, that's rude to say. There's actually like... A more conventional plot. Well, yeah, there's something actually pulling us forward in some meaningful way. Like, in, in a way that isn't just like... Reacting to what's going on. Uh... Mm -hmm. Shit. Like, everything we've done up to here has been kind of, like, either, like, a very small story for one character or, a, like, a, a minor... Oh, God, I need to cast healing. Okay. 
Thank God for that fucking shirt, huh? Get out of here before we die. But yeah, it, it does feel very thrust at us in the sense of like, uh, by the way, here's what, here's our main plot, which seems to be like the fact that it's thrown at us so like. Okay, good. I wanted to meet the skeleton. Goodbye! Let it be said, I did not want to bully the skeleton. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, up until this point, uh, the game has been largely about reactions to things with theming behind it. A lot of it just, like, the, uh, the general malaise of uh, encroaching capitalism as an invasive species, like... Um, natu uh, nature versus technology, all that stuff. And only now have we started getting into, like, a real, like, conventional stakes plot. Right, and, like, the fact that it was all just, uh, a character tells it all to us in, in one scene. I'm not gonna call that good pacing in any way? Like, at all? Like, sorry? <laughs> That's very just, uh, oh fuck, oh god, right, I guess we're doing- it, it makes it feel like whatever we're doing now is, like, secondary to whatever the intentions were, in my mind. Like, yeah. Like, in the, it, like, oh right, maybe we should have some sort of thrust going on for the, our characters to do, um, instead of, like, just sort of overarching themes and such, and these small stories, because up to this point, it's all been kind of a collection of small bits. You know. The Thunder Tower being the biggest. Oh, hey, that's good. Oh my god. Help. Help. Hold over from the fact that the game was migrated like three platforms in a decade, sure. Probably just some ideas that uh, didn't actually get cut or they were unwilling to cut. Makes sense that there's, like, but it's, it's still very odd. Mm hmm Um. Buddy? Turn around, please. Buddy? Buddy? Okay. Well. Guess we're doing this. fast. Alright. Just using those. Those aren't actually that useful, because I think they're only heals for, like... Yeah. The tiniest of heals. Alright. Anyway, this is the exit. No, yeah, they did a good job of setting up the uh, Pig Empire as, like, a force that you actively want to resist. Right. Meant. Alright. Now we can take a dip. Oh. I'm assuming that's party wide. That's party wide. Hell yeah. All right. That could be useful. There are fights where I can see that being useful. Uh, Save here. All right. Let's 
sally forth and find that next needle yeah well you know where we need to go um i want to find friends dog wants to find something uh, okay all right Yeah, it's been three years, and that's what Flint has done every day. Um, I'm gonna guess that's key rather than... <laughs> Incidentally, maybe keeping himself busy up in the mountains is preferable to all the other stuff that's been going on. Yes, they are twins. <laughs> yep. It's the only way I remember that Lucas is spelt with a C. <laughs> Just fucking... <laughs> Dakota? Thanks for the update, Jeff. Well, that's them like, yeah, hey, do you know how to get here? Like, can I take the train or am I walking? Sure. I'll take the green train. That'll be fun. I think that'll be enjoyable. Let's see what the green train is like. And then we spend the next chapter solving a murder mystery. Yep. Shit! No! You can't do this to me, game! Thank you very much for the raid. Hello. Welcome, everybody, from Crumbstream. We're deep in Mother 3. Yep, we are quite deep. Uh, we are in Chapter 7. We are kind of slowly getting to the main thrust of the game here. Lucas experienced the joy of riding a green color train. That's very nice. Anyway. I bet he wasn't looking out the window. Oh, shit. Is this a new enemy? a boomstick now. Alright. Well. We, were, we took the train, but the train had a curse, you see. You might be wondering... You have to go all the way back down to find knowledge. Chance, why are you running back? Well... We 
we can see all these fun enemies. But yeah, this is pretty deep into Mother 3. We are, we've been uh, going through this on Sundays. It's been a reasonably enjoyable time. Highs and, very highs and lows game. Mostly highs. But, all right, uh, I think it's, yeah, there's like a, I have to run the entire way for this. At least enemies aren't anything. All right, we're closing in. Here we are, the reason I ran back. A luxury banana and a super bomb. I can't believe the game hoisted you like this. God, we got on the train and we just immediately see those treasures. It's just like, oh, no. Oh, no. But yeah, so right now, the main thing we're trying to do is... Oh, get ambushed by chickens. Uh, I want to find our party again. They're just gone. Yeah. Duster and Kumatora are just somewhere. Yeah, they fell off the the. They they fell off with us, but we don't know where they went. So smash for one, huh? The main reason is that I want to have more than two characters in a fight. Uh, a lot of enemies have uh, disabling attacks that I. Uh, can't really do a lot about. We rather enjoyed having a full party. So, Rope Snake tried their best. Please. This was finally their chance to shine, but Rope Snake acknowledged that it had that they had their limits. Like, Rope Snake was carrying four people for some time, you know. I believe in Rope Snake. Hell, I'll talk to the frog as well. I like Butterfrog. Butterfrog's a good frog. Alright. These hitboxes are whack. Yeah, we're getting a little bit, like, because we only get the run over if we actually directly hit them. We don't get the experience from the fight if we directly hit them, but the experience from these fights is quite low, comparatively. Like, a real fight right about now is giving, like, 500. And by that, I mean, like, one on par. These are, like, 40 per enemy. And they're also fleeing from us. past one of these to get through. Okay. So, don't fight two of them. You'll die. The game will end on the spot. Got it. to us. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like this. I'm terrified. This is just a 
a Jimmy enemy, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that sucked ass. <laughs> like horses are scary. You, know, you see this thing, and then oof. Uh, um, all right, let's go to the Camaro Lab, which is to the west of the ropeway. This is what we've been told a couple times. Here it is. There's a building in the back too. Hmm. Right, let's uh. Let's get everybody sort of... Hi. Yes. I do not like hearing that. Oh, God, that... No. Oh, no. Ooh. Yeah, linger on it. Yep. 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 Oh, you know what you signed up for. Mmm, don't like that. All right. It's called the Chimera Lab. It's where they make horse tarantulas. Thanks, I hate it. Yes. Where mistakes are made, indeed. Oh, we got. Oh, um. Actually, let's see what I can sell. I'm a... Oh, right. Didn't you get your dad's charm? That's a key item. Okay. Oh, yogurt. Fly charm so no, wait. Oh, fly charm's like better defense, but it doesn't give the, the elemental. That's fine, I can just get rid of it. And we can also get rid of like nothing else. Alright, what do we got to buy here actually? Enemy bufferizer. Strengthens one enemy, increases experience gain. Oh, hell yeah, we get level up and level down. Oh, that's funny. What? Why am I being pranked by ghosts? Save your game, believe it or not. Ooh, very good stick. Shit, wait, can Bathroom Frog do DP stuff? Can we handle transactions under the door? That's what this frog is for. Ah, I see. There's, there's two frogs here. Okay. I'm gonna buy oh, not you. So very good stick. Sell good stick. And now we can save that we bought a stick. Alright, time to go through the Chimera Theater or whatever. Sure, this will be fine. Yeah, there's a little X in the back here. I'm waiting this I'm waiting for this to become a Jimmy dungeon, if we're being honest. <laughs> well, God, glad we get to see this again.
Look at how huge that is on our head. Books about mammals. Ultimate Chimera Report. Okay, I'd like to read it. Chimera Lab. Oh, fuck. Wow, this place is huge. What the hell? Um, hmm. Okay. Um, well. Let's figure out exactly where we were. So, like... I, I have my eye on that conspicuously large green area on the first floor. Okay, I see. Where well, so we started. Uh, you see that yellow dot like in the center, like that's at the bottom of the screen right now. We started yeah. like right here in this room at the bottom of the screen, and mm -hmm. then we've gone up. So we're trying to go behind them and get to different areas. Okay. I also noticed that there's a uh, coffee shop area or something. Oh, the hot spring. Yeah, it's a hot spring, yeah. All right, so we have a mask, so we're good. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll help with... I'm very scared for what's happened to uh, our monkey friends. They should not be here. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, that's encouraging, at least. Huh? <gasps> Excuse me? Emergency. Okay, now we're down to floor one. Kangaroo shark. Ostra elephant. I'm swine. I think that just has a brain. Sold out. So, are those the uh, dev costs, or...? E maybe. I think yeah. Einstein is literally a pig with a brain on it. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure Einstein is an Einstein pig. That's I mean, that fits, if it's a brain from another animal. Should the ultimate chimera escape from its cage, um... Use full force to bait <laughs> in here to prevent nothing happening. In the event that the ultimate chimera is seen by civilians... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, we got an image of an odd creature. I love that it's on the side. Alright, we can't see it. Ooh, that's an elevator. I see. Okay. Let's go back to floor two. We got a lot of exploring to do in this place. I do like this remix of the cave theme. Okay, hot spring. I'm really curious about that picture. You know, the rocket that just hit the dang mountain. Whoops.
Okay, we got another lab. Some sort of chemicals. Oh! Somebody was studying a magic butterfly? Drill over there. What? What are you doing here? Why are you here? What? Oh my god, they have skeletons of all the chimeras. Oh god. So wait. Who's going to tell us whose bones these are? The frog. Luckily, the frog who is in the... <laughs> but, you know, do whatever. Various bones. Miscellaneous bones. Various bones. God, here it is, the horse antilla. A dogfish. <gasps> we found him. Shit. Um they look all right from this side. Yeah, 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 but like, I want to explore more. Shit. Uh, god damn it. Fine. Whatever. I, I probably. Oh, you. I have masks on. Lucas, you. Lucas, you should take the mask off, Lucas. Yeah, we, we have the mask on, so, like, right now is. Oh! I have to not. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I had to not do a combo hit there so that I could do the heal in time. I kind of like that in a sense, by the way. Come on, hit bony. Yep, it's free. It's a free hit. I'm really glad that Earthbound and Mother 3 never instituted any penalties for getting doubled up on roll down hits. Yeah, this is an almost mechanical lion. I'm 
afford to do this here. And the combo, just stop it. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm like ready for that. Hey, got him. I had to figure this is balanced for us having two characters, so I'm not going to overdo it if we were in a reasonable situation like that. <laughs> Fucking dropkick. Is that the, the the ultimate in Chimera technology? This is the ultimate. Chimera. <laughs> I'll use your... Get the heck out of there. Come. <laughs> Gee, show me a good time, why don't you? Even when stopped, a frog is a frog. Alright. Oh, and there's science room. So are they, like, cleaning a house or something? Because, like, I know that the city is now apparently a thing, and people are going there. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, that thought's interrupted. My ass! You're dead! <laughs> You're dead! You're just Good dead. Good god, like, no Not even no a fight. Delay, not, just... even, not even a fight. You're gone. You are out. You are gone. You're dead. You're out of here. Get the hell out. Excuse me? Um. Oh. Hey, bud. Hello. Hi. Yeah, that's just Dr. Andonuts. How you doing? Um How you doing, Dr. Andonuts? Sounds like bad. Sounds like bad. Okay, I think they're to the left. But yeah, we had their name dropped earlier. Um We're good. Ugh. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Where do I want to? I want to go... I'm going to check out 4-3, actually. God damn it. They're right outside. Oh my god. You jerk. Fine. Whatever. It doesn't care. It's just gonna patrol. Yeah, let's full heal quick, because I spent, like, two-thirds I'm waiting for the Chimera to just immediately make a beeline for here. Jump in here and kick my ass, yeah. But yeah, no, just Dr. Anna, that's... You know. Alright, I want the elevator, please. <laughs> no problem here. No problem here. No problem here. Chimeras don't know how to use elevators. Shit. Okay, well, I guess we need to get to floor one and get over to either that green room or basement. Yeah, maybe the first floor. No problem here. You jerk. There's a little bird on it. You jerk. Why is there a little bird on it? It's the ultimate Chimera. It's the ultimate in Chimera technology. I see. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. Well, I meant to talk to you, but I didn't mean to have this conversation again. Alright. You know what this segment is to me? What? Omega. Yeah? That's Omega. I mean, it actually moves around like an Omega, but you don't even get to fight it. Yeah, but you just... You're right. So it's Omega. Anyway, here's Ridley. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get to fight Omega most of the time, either. Alright, so what's in the big room? This is outdoors. Okay, so let's take... Alright. Great outdoors, everybody. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, you know, stuff. Goodbye. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Beep. Beep. I'm gonna fall for it. <laughs> Monkeys were here to help. No! 
Take off your mask, Lucas. This is not the time. Let's assume floor three is our next uh, place we want to be. Oh, hey, Frog, help me. like the heartbeat going on here. Okay, we just need to hit the switch. Oh my god. Wait. It's Metaton? Oh, yes. <laughs> the heartbeat here is very good. I like this. Yeah. <laughs> Time, to <laughs> <laughs> Time to rain the nets. Come on. <laughs> Yes. There's the button. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, you, you look. You agree with my idea? Thanks, dog. I'm sorry. Oh my god, we're chasing... Oh my god. Oh, Dr. Anna, that's... Hey! Salsa! Okay, don't... Nobody hit the button. Oh shit. The bird! The bird! Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's what the tiny bird is for! <laughs> That's what the tiny bird is for! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So sauce is real. Um. Yeah, like, salsa was a good status effects, monkey. Wanna be a jerky. No one suspects the bird. <laughs> That's such a fucking good goof. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought.
Well, the weakness is twofold. You need to stop the button, and then you need to stop the bird. The bird also has a button on its back. But what you didn't realize is there's a flea on top of the bird that will press the switch on the bird. God. I love that Salsa is one of the known masters of this dance. Yep, and that's that would make sense why they said they needed the monkey to get to Needle 2. If Needle 2 was behind a wall that had a, a dance. So we might have one right here. Doria's house. We're off the map. Oh, magic gloves. Those are weapons for... Kumatora, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, we're... Oh, speaking of the devil. Lucas the human. And this dog is... Bony the dog. <laughs> <laughs> they have to have a little conversation with there. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. Jesus, it's even shaped like a Bahamut. Oh God. No. Fuck. Yep, okay. <laughs> we're good. You fool, you started the fight scene. <laughs> that means fine. we're all going to be drawn by the third string backup <laughs> animation <laughs> team. Shit. Uh, I just wanted to see the map again. That was it. There's a little sad face on the right. <laughs> anyway, as you said, as long as we don't go near any pyramids, we should be fine. Like, don't touch any tablets, Bahamut stays asleep. I do dig that the, uh, the two bridges over there just kind of makes it look like a face. Ooh, yeah, look at that near face. Yeah. But also, like, if you look at it, like, we've got, like, the, the, the bottom island at the, the bottom there is, like, the head, and then you can kind of see the body with wings spread. From looking at it like a literal dragon.
Anyway, whoops. I have not played uh, Mother One or Earthbound Beginnings or whatever it is. As, like, I, I'm not... Like, mostly because, like, it only is on, what, like, the Wii U Virtual Console, right? Was that its only release? Pretty much. Oh, okay, so... Doria also got a dream, and also... Okay, so we'll probably find Duster in the same way. Yeah. We have to, we... Really? Oh my god, I need to find a pump. Alright. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, the great A monsters appear to have uh, escaped. Einstein is here. Yup! And it knows exactly what I expected it to know. High level magic. Right, and Salsa should just get levels like a lot here. Yeah, I can also see that Salsa is not going to catch up anywhere near the damage game that we have. Oh, dang. Okay, so like, Dr. Ananuts was being forced to work with the the, the, ar the pork army, but also Dr. Ananuts is still a, you know, a scientist who do does not know what a moral is. Okay, so a wizard. Okay, hold on, so I can take any, all right, so we've got, that's Dry Guy. Uh-huh. No, thank you. Pump Chimera. Huh. Hmm. All right, but what about you? What? All right. Um, I think we just go down the line here in my mind. Well, if they're going to do this, then I'm glad that they made sure that you didn't have to go into the dungeon again. Alright, here we go. <laughs> 
the eyeball looks so concerned. The, yeah, this Chimera is not having a good time. <laughs> okay, it's fine. A little longer. Oh my god. Everyone's asleep. Very little was accomplished. <laughs> cool. I legitimately thought that Kumatora would be the first to just fall on the ground asleep. Well, alright, well, let's try round two. Hey, Frog, what's up? Just standing there, whirr. Yeah, I'll take this fight. Get past the pig. Alright. We're gonna take bucket bros. Absolutely. Alright, bucket bros. I believe. Okay, bullshit. This has to be accomplishing something. They're physically moving the water. Yeah, but it's... Look at how tiny the bucket is. They did more than dry... The drier Chimera. I, I was waiting for the joke to be that... It got... Uh... Like, it's only a pixel lower, but some of the water was moved. I bet those kids could have managed that we kept them going for a year straight. Alright, let's book it. Honestly, at some point, I want to give the uh, luxury banana to salsa for a job well done. All right. This Chimera is also a bit discouraged, like, it's got a, like, kind of, uh, face going on right now. Oh, hey. And there's a needle. As we know, 
Only crime can remove the needles. Well, goodbye. Oh! Got more crime. We got to pull more needles. We got beta crime. Oh, that's bad. That's good. I mean, crime beta's good, but... You know, the opposite of whoever pulled the other needle also has crime to the sequel to crime, right? Mm-hmm. What? What? Oh my god, am I just owned? <laughs> Word. They, uh, everyone's saying they put it in the house. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Your inventory's full, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know what's up with the egg. We still don't know what's up with the egg. It's very I don't get why those are key I like feel like key items that don't appear as key items. Like I'm sure there will be there is a reason. There has to be. We have key item space, but for some reason those aren't. Please don't leave here, I need to... I can't get back in if I leave. Nut. Look, a nut! They just left with a nut. Yeah, I'm. I don't. Okay. No. Okay, okay. I was gonna say nobody can do the dance in the party. They just look. You can go back in because you have to be. I need to empty space then. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Help. Okay. So now let's figure out where we want to put things. Oh, I guess I could have destroyed myself by giving Salsa the memento. Uh, true. Do I want those gloves? Hmm. Less speed, but more PP. Only 10. I feel like that's just one move. Hmm. Real bad. Uh, 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 I can get rid of these gloves for sure and the fly charm. Um, shield Sanch is fine. So, we have no idea where the next one is. Well, we have somebody we can go ask. Hey. Oh, right. We have our, we have our sudden mid. Oh! The squeaks. What? 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 What is happening? Goodbye, Squeaks. The Squeaks were taught a lesson. <sighs> oh my god. Squeaks, go back to your family. God damn. So we can come back here. I wonder what for. Uh, to get our asses kicked by the ultimate chimera again? Sure. I'm looking for the dock.
What? Apparently Reiner's got beams. So many beams. Gary's mod mini game. That's just Pig Mouse trying to deactivate the ultimate chimera. That's funny. A fool's gambit. That's very silly. Couldn't do anything up there before. Um. Hmm. Shit. All right. You're getting ultimate crimed. They took Crime 2 like a champ. I can get there from the other elevator. Check that out. I want to get through the fight as quick as possible, so we're just... Could be an optional boss that's staring at me. But I have no idea. Um, four two is where the heal is. This game's had multiple optional bosses so far. So to have another would not be outright, you know. Because uh, we had the uh, Concerto uh, and then the Maid. Those are two optional bosses we've had so far. This is a wildly powerful mind. Yeah, let's, uh, before we do this... We'll actually do this from floor one so we can go to Frog. Two first. Okay. All right.
they're not wrong. Smells <laughs> mechanical. stats. I love the buff stat animations. Let's actually peel off this. What do you got? That's it. <laughs> That's the poser. All right. <laughs> They're just here. On floor three. They're just having a good time. I just came up here and beat a stand up like. drop anything. It's just kind of a whatever enemy. It was just there. I forget, who's wielding the uh, Friends Yo-Yo? Uh, Kumatora's got that. Oh, okay. Oh. We'll need a few of those to get Shinryu up to level 255, so then we can instantly kill it with level 5 death. Basically. You have to I mean, that him. is your plan for the ultimate Chimera, right? <laughs> yeah, but I don't have level of death yet. Oh, damn. Which, uh... Hurts oh, You that. can check the basement. Maybe there's some object to ours down there. I'm literally just going here to heal. Omega. Oh, 
Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Object owners are just weak to level 5 death. I gotta go find page 33 in order to learn it. Now who's the poser? Damn. I've been set played. Well, there's books around here too, you know? Yeah, true. Um, only other place I'm thinking about going would be the basement. See if anything new is down here. Okay. Rolly pulleys. Huh. Okay. They deal damage. It's fine, we can heal through that. They also take damage. They're zombie armadillo chimeras. They're a chimera of an armadillo and a zombie. Okay, they take damage as well as deal it. That makes sense. Like, they, they just... Take that. That's nice. Okay, what about back here? Alright. It's hefty damage, but, like, they also take pretty reasonable damage, too. Yeah. So we can just do that. Hmm. Alright. Well, we met Zombie Dillos for coming here. Alright, there. It's time to crime. Well, let's give them the full business. The full business. Alright, well... Probably should just get out of here. Why is there still staff here? They got work to do. Um, okay. Just out back. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh, Joe's right on the heel there. to do the combo and I want to keep a lot of experience in this area. Mm. Alright. Watch a movie? 
now. Alright. This actually might be a good place to call it for the day. We're yeah, in, probably. We're in between things. Not starting anything new. I kind of know... The best I have right now is go east. Um... Uh, or also, uh, just kind of look around this area, but, yeah, so I think that's where we're gonna stop for now, we've been going for a couple hours, and that's generally how we do, so, yeah, uh, we're finally into where we're doing kind of like big world stuff, um, we completed a whole chapter today, we did, chapter six. We did it. So... So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for joining. Hope you had fun. Thank you to Voice of Dog and Crumb for the the raids. Um, if you want to catch any of the other things I do or the things we do here, you can always follow. See when I go live. Uh, tends to be Mother Three is on Sunday to Central. All the other streams are on weekdays at seven Central. Um, yeah, so that's what's up. That's uh, what we got going on. Um, subscribe for cool skulls and slimes. Um, and if you're just here having a good time, that's great. A plus. So thank you all for joining. Uh, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>